Well, good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we've got a lot in store for you. Our team is giving you some helpful tips on how to prepare for tax season. We're also introducing you to one high schooler who is using education to pave a path of success for himself in 2021. So be sure to stay tuned for our Student of the Week segment. We're, we've got some exciting uh, events for you also, for your friends and your family to check out this and next month, plus so much more. Don't go anywhere. Valley Por Vida that starts right now. Well, good Monday morning, Valley, and welcome to a brand new week. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda, and today we're talking about the National Month Calendar. There are various topics and themes to observe before February comes around, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few right now. All right, well, January 2021 marks National Oatmeal Month, National Soup Month, National Blood Donor Month, National Mentoring Month, and National Hobby Month. This is your opportunity to try your hand at unique oatmeal recipes or soup recipes. Uh, consider giving the gift of life through a blood donation. Try learning something new from someone around you and maybe even try a brand new hobby. January is a new chance for a new you this year. We hope you keep in mind these observances, observances rather throughout the month. All right, well, Brandon Figueroa is a professional boxer from the Rio Grande Valley, and he is proud to represent his hometown in such a positive way. With an unblemished record and several victories, he travels across the globe, training harder each and every time. Our team had the chance to catch up with him before he hit the ring in training. Check it out. Hello, my name is Brandon Lee Figueroa. Uh, as you can see, this is my gym, my second home, basically. Uh, this is where I prepare for all my fights, uh, mentally and physically. Well, long story short, you know, I've always been a big dreamer since I was small. Um, when I was born, I was already around boxing because of my older brother. My dad taught my older brother due to self-defense. Uh, but I did it out of, you know, my brother as my idol, me always having to catch up to him and trying to make my dad proud because I know my dad loved boxing. So ever since I was little, I always tried to strive to, to beat my older brother. And uh, any sport that my older brother did, he, he was the best in football, basketball, in anything that, that, that he touched, he was basically the best. So I tried to compete with him, I couldn't. I was too small, too scrawny. I had a thinner frame than my older brother. But when it came to boxing, uh, I knew that I had, I had a gift for this and I was born to fight. And it was the only sport where I can kind of compete with my brother. So, you know, now we're here 20 years later, since I was four, big, dreaming big, and I'm living my dreams. So, yeah, hard work, a lot of hard work and dedication. I was staying in, in, in shape. I was staying fight ready, just in case someone wants to fight in two months, I'll be ready. But yeah, you know, I, I come in the morning with my sister, work out, strength and conditioning. She's also my nutritionist. She does my meals to make sure that I make weight for my fights, which is another very important aspect in, in, in a professional boxer is making weight uh, and obviously looking good physically. But most importantly, making sure that you go to the fight 100% and healthy as possible. So yeah, you know, I come in the morning, do my strength and conditioning, and then I come later in the afternoon, I'm around 6.30 p.m and I do my boxing, I go run, run my three miles. If I don't spar, I do mitt work with my dad. You know, my, I, love, I love this, you know, this is my passion. Uh, I don't see myself doing anything else but this. I've been in love with this sport since I was four years old and, you know, my dad has always been there behind me. My family, you know, my sister, my, my strength and conditioning coach, my nutritionist, my dad, he's my coach. My mom pushes me, my older brother. And yeah, you know, it's just a, a family affair of, of boxers and, you know, they just want to see me be the best uh, boxer that I can. I can honestly care less about the fame. I just want to help my people, my community, and obviously the, the kids that, that look up to me. Um, you know, this year I couldn't have a, a toy drive. I couldn't have a back to school drive uh, due to the pandemic going on. But best believe that if next year everything clears up, 
uh, I'm gonna make sure to accommodate the kids. You know, I love making the kids happy because I used to be them. I used to look up to professional boxers when I was small and it just felt nice for them to just buy me a happy meal and if I can do so much more for the kids then I will do it. Oh yes, you know, it's just hard work, dedication, consistency, you know, uh, on the off season when I'm supposed to be vacationing, you know, I come to the gym, run my miles, I work here and there, you know, always staying busy, always staying consistent, making sure that, you know, I never fall off the grid too much or I never, you know, let my body go too much or my conditioning, you know. Uh, I'm always ready to work, I'm always ready to fight, and that's the most important thing is just being consistent, dedicated, and as long as you love what you do, you will never get tired of it. You know, this new year, um, I'm trying to open a, a boxing gym here in Westaco. It's going to be probably one of the best boxing gyms here in the Valley. Um, Steady the art, of course, uh, and open it to the public. I want to do uh, uh, a lot of community work in there. I want to help a lot of kids, maybe. Uh, get some buses and transport kids that, you know, may, maybe get them off the streets and maybe get them into boxing. You know, I just, I just want to do a lot of things with the gym, which is right now is my main focus. And obviously, you know, keep fighting, keep training, keep getting better and just keep improving myself. Once again, thank you guys for the support uh, from the whole Valley. I know you guys are always 100% with me. Um, thank you for following my journey. Uh, details need to come for my next fight. But yeah, y'all can keep up with me, catch up with me on social media. Brandon Figueroa 101 on Instagram, Brandon uh, Lee Fig 25 on uh, Twitter. And yeah, you know, thank you guys for the support. Appreciate it. We'll be catching up with Brandon again later in April, so be sure to stay tuned uh, to Valley Por Vida for exclusive sit-downs and more. And if you'd like to lend your support for Brandon the Heartbreaker, feel free to follow his journey on social media. Well, the Harlingen School of Health Professionals works closely with students year-round to ensure they have the resources, tools, and instruction that they need in order to successfully graduate and pursue the medical career of their dreams. Our team dropped by their campus to speak with one student who is excited for all that's to come regarding his education this 2021. It's time now for our Student of the Week segment. Good morning, everyone. My name is Seth Vega and I'm in the 11th grade here at HSHP. Uh, my experience here at HSHP has been well. I am currently in the pharmacology program here at HSHP, and it's been awesome. Like, I think the past couple years have been great. The resources here are incredible. You have the library, the, library, the ILC, the Information Literature Center, with Ms. Cornejo, she's awesome, librarian. Uh, in fact, I was with the tech team with her, uh, and basically in there you just do a lot of like technical related stuff and I presented last year uh, with her with the tech team. The classrooms are awesome. Uh, they have like these weird shaped desks that you're not necessarily like used to seeing I suppose um, in order to encourage like group related projects and group hands-on activity. Coming here has helped me immensely I suppose. Uh, it's awesome like giving me a lot of uh, information and a lot of practice in terms of uh, to go out in the real world, I suppose. I'm not sure what I want to do when I graduate, but I know that it's going to be, I'm going to like what I want to do. Like, I don't want to do something that I'm not really happy doing. Uh, and I know that I just being here at the school is also going to help me for in the future. I think a lot of teachers here at HSHP have really helped me uh, grow and find my, what I like to do and, and just help me along the way uh, with, through my high school year. A lot of them have been awesome. I, I would recommend when coming to this school that you study hard, you listen to your teachers, uh, definitely get involved with the community and everybody here. It is awesome. Uh, on top of getting a good education, it's best that you also volunteer and put yourself out there in the community. Uh, and I have done every Christmas, around Christmas time in December, I'm with the Salvation Army and I help my aunt. We go and bell ring around the stores. We can play Christmas music and get everybody in the Christmas spirit. I can sometimes bring my friends and they can get volunteer hours as well. I'm looking forward to doing that this year in 2021 as I've been doing it since sixth grade. Harlingen School of Health offers six fields for students to study and choose from. That includes dental science, patient care, surgical procedures, pharmacology, and biomedical technology. They've got medical science and even sports medicine therapeutic. And they encourage students to dream big, work hard, and uh, they're always there to help guide them every step of the way. If you'd like more information on how your child can enroll, feel free to visit the campus in Harlingen or log on to the website on your screen. And be sure to stick with us next week for more on Student of the Week. 
Well, during this time, everyone is making sure to take proper health precautions to keep their families safe, but we can't forget about our pets. The Humane Society of Harlingen is dedicated to serving dogs and cats in our Rio Grande Valley community year round, and they want to help make sure that your furry family member is taken care of in 2021. Their team will host a special vaccination clinic coming up in February, and there are plenty of animals waiting for their forever home. So we dropped by for all of those details. It's time now for Pet of the Week. Hi everybody, Sarah here with the Humane Society. We will be hosting a low-cost vaccination clinic this upcoming Saturday, February the 6th. This is a pre-registration only clinic, so if your pet is in need of any kind of vaccinations like rabies, distemper parvo, or bordetella, make sure that you register online at hshtx.org, then come in to see us on Saturday. If you'd like more information on the pet vaccination clinic happening in February, or you'd like to become a 956 champion this year, feel free to visit Sarah and her team in Harlingen. Well, it's time now for a look at your local weather updates, but stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back and we'll be speaking with Breaking Bad actor RJ Mitty about how he's working with UV clean agency technology to eradicate virus germs right here in the RGV. That info and more coming up. 